Creating space in football. The primary objective of an attacking team is to create a scoring opportunity to score a goal. But to create a scoring opportunity, it's essential to get close enough to the goal. This can be achieved through collective tactical maneuvers, passing combinations, individual plays, and more. There are various ways to create goal scoring chances in football. In this video, we will discuss ways to create valuable space in the simplest and most educational manner possible. These mechanisms will help you identify patterns when watching a match or even when designing more complex tactical plays. Get ready, because in this video, you will learn what the attacking team needs to do to create space against a well-organized defense. For instructional purposes, in this video, we will divide space creation into three types. First, with the entire team, in a collective action, creating space between the opponent's defensive lines. Second, with one player creating space for a teammate. And third, with a player creating space for themselves. But when does a team create spaces to exploit using these three types of offensive maneuvers? In the first case, we introduce the concepts of width and depth. When a team has possession of the ball, it's common for them to try to expand the field, both horizontally, by having players positioned wide on both sides to create width, and vertically, with one or more players moving forward into the opponent's defensive line to create depth. This increases what we call the effective playing space, which is the area encompassed by all the team's players. As a result, the opponent's marking becomes stretched, forcing the defense to cover a larger area, increasing the distance between markers in both width and depth, which widens the gap between defensive lines. In other words, width can be used to increase space for a vertical passing lane, and depth can enable the receiving player to have more room, as the next line of defense is reluctant to push up and narrow the space, potentially leaving areas open behind them. However, it's essential to note that not having width or depth is not necessarily wrong, as long as it's part of the team's strategy and they understand what they are doing. Some coaches, like Fernando Denise, Renato Gaucho, Ancelotti, among others, can create effective offensive systems without necessarily spreading the field wide open. This style of play became known as relationism. Another type we discuss in this video is when one player creates space for a teammate. When a player offers a passing option to a teammate in football, they typically make a run to receive a pass. This run can be of two types, a supporting run or a penetrating run. A supporting run happens when a player comes closer to a teammate, offering a short passing option. On the other hand, a penetrating run typically involves a player attacking empty space, usually creating a passing option behind a defensive line. A good way to create space against a defense is by combining these two types of runs. For example, imagine a midfielder has possession of the ball, and a forward drops back to create a passing option, as we just mentioned, this is a supporting run. The forward receives the ball from the midfielder, attracting one of the defenders who tries to press him. The result is the creation of an empty space where the defender was, allowing an attacking teammate to make a penetrating run, attacking the now vacant space. The forward passes the ball to any of the deeper teammates, who can then make a first-time, penetrating pass to another player making the penetrating run. The reverse can also occur. It's also possible for a midfielder, for instance, to make a penetrating run by advancing closer to the opposing defensive line, causing a defender to follow him. This would open up the space where he previously was and leave the area free for another player to make a supporting run in that region. The third way we'll mention in this video is the example of a player creating space for themselves. This form of space creation is quite similar to what we just discussed. The difference is that the player making the supporting run can pivot, change direction quickly, and exploit the created empty space themselves. Or the player can simulate a penetrating run, induce their marker to follow, then halt their run and return to the same space to make a supporting run, receiving the ball unmarked. In the case of a play where a player attacks empty space, typically behind the opponent's defensive line, it's obvious that a player who can make precise passes to set up the attacker in a scoring position is needed. A style of player who specializes in making long passes to find attackers in good scoring positions is known as a regista. We have created a video explaining how a player in the role of a regista plays. It's displayed on the screen. 
I recommend you click and watch it right now.